Okay, we're back at it. So yeah, you can't get in here yet. Um, lights? Um, I'm... Can we come over here? And walking up to the door is not a big deal. It's really pretty. And it's kind of cool looking. Um, there looks like there is a plant area here. And a random cooler that I did not know was here the last time I was here. That's cool. Um, But we're getting out. Oh no, oh no! Dang it. I can try to parasites. That's what I get for being in a section I'm not supposed to be in. And I know already know this side is not good for you, so I'm gonna go over here. And we're gonna go back up. And that's so far what we got. It looks a lot like Vault 34, so I have a feeling we're gonna be tackling some very Vault 34 like things. I wonder if it'll have anything to do with maybe like Wastelanders going forward. So, back outside. Now, let's talk about Camp 94. Okay. So, out here they had some stuff supplies and a lead pipe and huh there wasn't one more <laughs> it looks like when they came out it kind of looked like they were gonna you know they had started to build an open community but if they didn't have guns I hate to say it friends I don't think they lasted very long I'm, I'm hoping they did ooh capsash I know I don't have caps collector shush I don't need some pack supers. I need some pack regulars. This is. This was a year later. They opened up the doors a year later. Is what happened. Uh, take a shift, and people are, are came outside to basically be missionaries. Um, Something I noticed is this initial one. So two days before the vault said, they said at 8.30, they received the, descri uh, the, the decryption keys to unseal the new orders for the vault. Um, so they basically said, hey, here are the keys to opening the vault. Two days later, the whole thing comes crashing down. Hmm. Argument valid for vault tech starting the war? You tell me. I still think they kind of did. I think they had something to do with it. I think they started it. They may not have, like, finished it. But I definitely think they might have started it. Like, once they meet their quota, they met quota in faults, they just said, fuck it. Drop these bombs. Now. For those of you who are probably wondering, how close can I build to this place? The answer is actually pretty darn close. Um, right now you can't build, but I kind of make it a rule. You can go, this is, the, this is the closest you can get to building. That's pretty darn close to the vault, you guys. I, on the other hand, I'm going to do a little something different. I'm going to go, actually, up this way. Um, because this is the mire, I am very... very over maybe a little over aware of the fact that people is that baddies like to climb up here so on the one hand I kind of have been thinking about moving up here to the top where people are less likely to hit the camp but then I'm worried more now more than ever about visibility from scorch beasts there's this nice little plateau up here if you're um for many people, if you're looking for a spot, um, on the opposite side, I'll take you back down towards the Mega Red Truck Stop because you can see it in the distance there, and the pumpkin patches. Oh yeah, boom! There you go, the Mega Red Truck Stop. So I thought about this spot for about a good 10-15 minutes, and I looked around and I kept feeling around, 
And the answer is, can you also build up here? And the answer to that is, yes, you can literally build on top of the vault. So you can build a camp at the top of the vault, almost, almost, a little further back. So you can build up here, which I'm tempted to build up here. And then people can spawn here to your camp and drop down. But that's where I'm not actually building. Because yours truly is building on a challenge, we're going to do a little something different. I know. I hear all of you in, my, in your head saying, why don't you just camp up here? It's fabulous. There's no problems. Da, 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 da. In fact, the matter Scorch Beasts is, the number, is my number one concern. Because I'm still really close to a fissure site. Secondly, I kind of am leaning more towards um, a roadside entrance. So that way all you have to do is when you're coming up and down this place. Now, most people are going to automatically just spawn in and out of the vault, and that's fine too. Um, I was kind of thinking something that where I could have the rock face a little bit. And a little bit of roadside. A little bit of road, a little bit of rock. But still semi-flat. Give me enough height to where if something's coming up at me, I got a fighting chance. Some, I, you can also park it here too. You just have to work down up. So you would build your foundations kind of high to sit up and comfortable. You can go all the way down the street too if you wanted. I'm not doing all that. You know what though? My original thought and plan was actually going to be to put it right here. So as you're coming up the road, you see it. But now in hindsight, after looking at it and thinking again really deeply about it, I think we're going to take that top plateau. Because it's kind of out of the way, but if you, but you'll still drop right on into it. The only downside will be coming back up afterwards. I think that's going to be the only downside to it is coming back up. But it's still a nice open flat space where if you're coming up this way, you can at least workshop. There's at least a working workshop. And hey, I don't, you know, flat land like this is very hard and rare to come by. So when you get this opportunity, you take it. All right, here we go. Ta-da! Your camp build is here. I know. You know it's bad when your budget's already full. And then all you'll have to do is drop right down on it. And actually, oh, you could actually climb back up too. Sweet. And all you marsupial kids will get to have a good time. Alright, here we go. Or, you can come this way to the camp. If you're not a marsupial <laughs> kid. <laughs> but the marsupial kids will be able to just jump right on up. No big deal. And go from there. Now, for tradition, because we never build the same camp twice. It's true, we don't. Your Julie does not. And the reason also I like doing it this way is it builds the section. So you delete the component and store all of it. Also, this isn't making a comeback for this build. It may come back to future builds. Um, actually. Actually, yes. <laughs> actually. I always say you should put something that magna that represents the edge of your camp. And so, if you're coming up from the old school way, you're going to at least see the sign. And go, oh, this is a camp. And it's true, it is. Um, I may put some flamingos there to make an argument. Um, yep. All 
All right. This is going to be the longest because it takes the most space. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. I know. It's when you store, like... I know. the it's Now, before you... Some of you are probably asking, well, why don't you just, you know, build it that way? Uh-oh. Did I freeze? Yep, I froze. I'll be right back. Oh, no, maybe we didn't. Wait, not yet. Nope. Nope, we're good. Whew, almost, almost had to leave. Let's solve our big problem first. Stupid parasites. Something I always do when we actually do builds like this. Uh, oops. Well, since I'm do since I'm rolling solo today. In case I have to go to work. And home defense. No, I do have science on, right? Okay. All right, let's go to work. Cool, so now that I've marked the end of the line, let us begin. What? Actually, no. <laughs> Actually, that's not... <laughs> um, we'll put this on the opposite side. I don't even know if there's a downside on the opposite, but let's see. I'm going to put it at a high point here. And then... <laughs> That's right. It's coming in. Be nicer if I could see it. <laughs> the path's still here, so that's my thing. I was like, is the path still here? I still, I'm all about aesthetics, you guys. If I'm gonna do something silly like put a big ass fucking billboard, I might change the billboard though, too, for shits and giggles. Um, for now, though, I'm gonna. Shit. I love these, but god, they're a pain in the butt to place. There we go. Because either they look dumb, or they float weird, or what. There we go. So. Oh, you're coming down from the road. <laughs> Can you actually see it from the road? From all like before, out of curiosity. Let's take a look. Actually, holy shit, you can. <laughs> That's great. Oh shoot, we might turn the can. <laughs> oh man that's right I'm building a one stop shop with a twist um, I will have a friend of mine who does lighting make me a camp 94 sign later but that's what we're done I'll make sure I leave some camp budget for him this is like the most pain in the butt thing to do yeah see that that's what yours truly is afraid of. It's building a camp smack dab in the middle of, a f of an area full with freaking what's I'm gonna call it. So yes, I've already thought about this. I'm thinking already in my head that this is gonna be a camp build that's gonna spend a lot more. Uh, we're gonna stop for a second. I'll stop. See the that's what I'm more afraid of. I'm not necessarily afraid of like raiders or scorched. See that big scorch beast? Those bad boys can tear up your camps in seconds. So now I have to think about 
that fun stuff. So for all of you who are about to come over here for Vault 94 building, listen, <laughs> you have quite a bit. <laughs> we have some work cut out for us. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like this at all. Not going to like any of this at all. Okay. works or not um some things that aren't going to be here in the future build um we are going to keep some farm stuff today for the sake of i'm not sure what's going to happen next we're going to make sure we build just a few just in case and now i intend to move them as we go but, like I said, it's just more like a just in case. It's more just in case right now than anything else. Keep those and those. Leave that. Goodbye. Sorry, Greenhouse, you're not making this build. I know you guys, I know. I already heard all of you in your head go, No! Yeah, I know. It's not going to make the build this time. Something I'm doing a little differently this time is I am actually going to burn all these walls. Because I think we might go steel this time around. Steel is actually more sturdy, especially in a scorch boost camp. So we're going to scrap a boat ton of stuff. Sorry, this is kind of the boring section. I'm thinking a Vault Tech esque themed setup. I am getting rid of the Mothman bed. Um, I'm getting rid of all non-essentials. We're not two-storying this job. This job is not a two-story job this time. This is going to be a one-story job. Um, it's going to probably be a multi, an old-school workshop style. Which means we're bringing back my favorite item, the garage door. Keep those. And I'm also getting rid of... Oh, darn it! I was trying to get rid of that. Keep those. Ah, the flag stays along with the whites. Nope. Mm, we'll play the Europe by ear. This is how you free up some of your base before you get the part started. Um. Keep the I at least keep the, one of the instruments just because it's great on the build. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna Americana super hardcore this time around. Mm, I'm getting rid of the bar. Uh, we'll keep the cigarette and the. <laughs> I'll find usage for those. Be assured of that. Uh, we'll keep the beds, mirrors, on and sign, bear rug, and I think that's everything except floors, which is where we're gonna start this party. I also 
I also scrap roofs because no two roofs are the same, so I always end up having to redo a roof a roof setup every time, so. Can I? No, I didn't build a lot of roof in my last build. Jeez Louise. The decontamination shower will return. It's one of my favorite items. All right. And so we start with all things in the beginning with the foundation. But first, something I always like to do, I move to the edge of the camp. So I never, so I don't have to worry about it. And like I said, that's why sometimes you got to put, I always say put at least one or two markers so you at least know where your camps, your, the general size of your camp. And the guns are kind of just out just in case Scorch Bees show up while we're try building. <laughs> At least I, I stand a decent starting fight when we get this party started. Here we go. Two. Hmm. All right. All right. So coming up with the camp. Post, you've survived a nightmarish episode, weekly episode. You're going to come up first on we're going to put a 4x4 four four right here. Yes, it's all going to be high, meaning more staircasing, but you guys are going to when you come to the camp, you'll thank me because it won't will not have to worry about getting shot at. You'll at least be high enough to wear. So this is going to be where we place the workshop. What I normally do is I do a six by th I do a three by three. Um, and that way we have a space here. I'm going to put two spots here. I don't care if they clip badly because this is where the power generator is going to go. Nope, can't put it there. Oh. Oh. Oh, I take that back. So I think we're going to do a little differently then. One, two. Which means I'm going to move this guy. Maybe to be a part of the sh storefront. The in and storefront. Um, storefront. So... You're going to come up Okay, almost I don't know why I was clipping kind of weird last time, but okay. Actually, I'm going to slide it over one here. Where's the power generator on this side? Okay. And... Pause. I need some music. So you can at least... Doesn't sound so boring when I'm working on stuff. There we go. Actually. 
actually. Okay. Stupid glitches. That's fine. Needs to be more. Shoot. Go well, believe that back door that is. Since we're building a seal, we could do it this way. <coughs> excuse me, y'all. Oh, excuse me, viewers. <coughs> Apologies for that. Because when you're listening for uh, Scorch Beasts, it makes you a little nervous. Okay. Got a window in the front, on the side, and on the back. Two sets of stairs. That's gonna look dumb, but whatever. Why won't you snap? There we go. Fabulous. So you're gonna come up. Boom. I already know I'm gonna put a lamp right there. Don't even. Roofs and doors, roofs and doors. Oh, I wish you wouldn't bad snap like that. Boom. 
Workshop complete. I think this time we're going to do a different set of doors. Now, these are more for So that's where the workshop is. So this is out the gate. You're going to come up and you're going to have the workshop and you're going to check out the sales. The workshop's going to be your gateway drug. I'm really thinking I'm going to end up moving this sign at a later date. Um, but for now, it's a placeholder. Let's talk. Now let's talk power, because that's something we always talk about. I always use structures, then power. So, actually, wait. Let's finish. Not this one. Actually, I'm beginning to think we may build up a little higher. This time. And yes, it's going to be kind of high, but that's kind of the point in this case. I don't want a really low build. I kind of want you to be able to, when you come up to the camp, go, oh, okay, it's high. It's not one of those kind of camps where you're going to just get, like, demolished from the floor. At the same time, I want to be where you can kind of still come up into it and take a look around. Workshop, I don't mind it being a little lower. Oh, maybe we will build two floors this time. Let's think. I can't, I know. Yes, world, I know. And that makes no sense because this camp is, uh, that's lower than this. Oh, we have placements. We have height issues. Store it because I know I'm going to keep using it. Maybe I'll build it high on the opposite side. In order to do that, though, I have to move more towards the front. Same with this bad boy. Also up front. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I know, it sits flush and doesn't sit flush. Why? It's going to make sense in a second. I promise. I promise it's going to be really exciting. It's a lot of sense in a second. Now, when I'm done, there will be an actual missile turret up here. There'll be a couple missile turrets. There'll be a, like a def fortified defense spot here. But for the argument of today, I don't need a little height going on here. Just in case you think I'm nuts, and... The answer is yes, I am a little crazy with this build. Cause I'm doing something a little different from traditional builds. Oh, 
Oh, does it look slanted to you? So, this is what we call a possible spawn point spot. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. I wonder if wood can go there, though. Can we put a, here's that can okay then I'll live with that setup and you're probably wondering what the method to my madness is here oh wow I didn't realize how slanted that was just please talk about that you were close That's why I didn't they didn't sit flush. Now, now you know, and now we know. Okay, so you're probably looking at this going, What the heck? Why is this now off center? There's a little bit of method to the madness to each of these camps. I don't necessarily need a stair here. Two, three. What's the extra slate you ask? Easy. Why do you have an extra slate there? That's why. So now, it looks off center. So this is going to be an interesting two story, fun story. That's how you make two stories without putting stairs. You just raise up your cement bit. Yes, this is this is gonna be a official like work tour. Now um. Steel does withstand a little better. Where's the stairs? Where the stairs is, we want a proper door. Yes, I want open windows back up front.
today's challenge of the day. It's getting the floor. No, oh, it's nothing a half wall can't fix, actually. I just thought about that. Okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's not gonna go according to plan, and we just need to go on ahead and put a proper wall. I always build two doors in mind. So in the event you have to get out of my com uh, the house in some form or fashion, you at least have a working spot. Oh, let, let's answer the question. What am I putting here? Easy. And we might as well free up the space to get it out the way. gonna look really weird but I'm really displacing him for the sake of placing him right now yeah that's right I only keep three machines contrary to popular guys popular beliefs I have a few more, hold on.
I usually build flat roofs. I know. We can talk about. That's next. Now, there's a little bit of method to this madness that I learned in a recent build that you can do. Good grief. Frustrating, I know. Are you frustrated yet? <laughs> I mean, like, who else is doing that? Oh, my Lanta. What the shit? Okay. I know most of you are thinking, that's a big ghetto hack. Yeah, hold on.
Hold on. Let's do that really quick. And that's what that's for. So as you can see, it's on, but it's not on. Good grief. Cool. So that's set. Miss Effie should be free. Most days. <laughs> Where did it go? I'll save, the, I'll save that for something else. There. Oops. Okay. Yeah, we might just be doing kind of a cool, uh, a long haul style, I guess, this time. I think we're going to make that work. <laughs> almost. Dang it. Almost, you guys. Almost. I mean... Darn it. Well, we'll save these for a second to see if I can hack these a bit. So, that holds just nicely, and that can be the... No, because it doesn't sit. It's Mike, though. Done. 
Yeah! Woohoo! And the best part? Yeah, fully flush. Alright. So, store. This is going to be kind of a cool vault longhouse style this time, I think. Shops. And here is going to be the lounge longhouse. Kind of doing it at old school great hall style. Might put a few more windows. But let's power first. Doors and power first. Mm, let's do full looking windows this time. Uh, da, da, this. See if we can uh Oh wait. I forgot to do something kinda important. Lights check. Still gonna have to figure out that garage door. But give me a second. <laughs> Let's figure out that garage door. But give me a second. <laughs> Almost. Dang it. Oh boy, we might have to do this long. Am I gonna make it? Nope. Dang it. Reroute. Let's do one closer to the edge and then build up. Cool. I know. Low wires build this time around, guys. Put down. No. Okay. Man, this is, this is an interesting longhouse build we're doing. Okay. Light. Okay. And then... Nope. Dang it. I want to hit the wrong button, guys. Don't you. Okay. 
and that's not as far as I want that to go. Let's see. We can. No. And this is our attempt at trying to get the wire the whole house without having to go down. Okay. Let's check. Nope. Dang it. We check for what I call cold spots. <laughs> there are cold spots in the house where the place won't light up. I call this checking for cold spots. If there's a cold spot anywhere in the house, then I have to look to make sure that I have to adjust the wiring accordingly. As such. And I think this bat this house passes the test. Awesome. I still have to just figure out that garage door. Dang it. That's gonna be the pain in the butt. Give me a minute. Um That's cool. Out of curiosity, is it working right now? Even on the ground? It is. Ha <laughs> ha! It works even on the ground, that's cool. That's it just works! <laughs> Words, Ted Howard. I know he's eating his. He's eating like salt for that, man. I know it's broad daylight, so I know it's like hard to kind of do natural to do light. I'm just making sure. Like I said, we're checking cold spots. Because if it doesn't light up on the floor. It's not going to light the wall. The walls aren't going to light either. So that's how we know, too. Oops. Okay. Opposite side. Oh, I think we have it on point, you ladies and gents. Oh, I'm very excited about this design right now. Oh, yay. And this corner. Fab. Well, for now, I'll leave it there. So now that we know it works and I don't have to over, like, wire, now you guys know no new trick. How do you handle high wiring? Instead, of, I know a lot of people like doing conduits. Um, I just was never good with them. So this is kind of my compromise between conduits and overt wiring. Um, I know a lot of people hate overt wiring in camps where you just look like you literally just put a whole bunch of conduits everywhere and hope that, that worked for you. And I'll be right back. Maybe I'm coming back. Wait for it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, I hate when this happens. Okay, I'll be right back. Because I gotta restart. <laughs> 